being transported off the ground or even out of this world, all while sitting in your doctor's office. That is what one local pediatrician is doing for his patients to ease their fears about shots. And now Stephanie Suskind shows us how it works. All done. Not bad, right? I just got the shot. That's it. <laughs> it's done. Aww. 11 year old Dylan Perlin just got a booster shot and he didn't even know it. It was really weird. Like, I felt like I was in outer space, sort of, like between outer space and the Earth's atmosphere. And I felt nothing. I felt nothing. All I felt was cold and a buzzing. And then it was done. That's because Dr. Chad Rudnick at VI Pediatrics in Boca Raton now uses virtual reality goggles to give patients what he calls the flinch-free vaccine experience. And if we can reduce the level of anxiety and needle phobia or needle anxiety, then that's something that we want to do. The goggles work with cell phone apps to transport your little boy or girl to another world. I think we just landed on the ground. <laughs> oh, there's a guy behind me. Dr. Rudnick says kids get so immersed in what they're seeing, they don't notice that prick on their arm they were so afraid of. And he says the technology could go beyond pediatrics. Using this technology may be able to make blood draws easier. It may be able to make just injections for other types of medications easier for an adult and for a child. So I think a lot of this, this is where technology and healthcare is moving. And the doctor told me the idea actually came from one of his patients who brought his own goggles to the office. So he put it on and he was on a roller coaster. And we went through the whole process and I gave him his shot and he didn't flinch. And his mom said, did that really happen? And he said, it's done. And he didn't feel it at all. And so a light bulb went off. And I said, wait a minute, was that just once or is this really going to work? So far, it has. Dr. Rudnick has used the virtual reality goggles with about two dozen patients. And every time, it's successful, leaving Dylan with a thought few kids have while at the doctor's office. Can I get another one? <laughs> Maybe next time, Dylan. In Boca Raton, Stephanie Suskind, WPTV News Channel 5. That is genius. Now, Dr. Rudnick says he bought the virtual reality goggles online for about 100 bucks, and each virtual reality app is just a few dollars. He says, to his knowledge, he, his is the only office using this technology, but he hopes to see it catch on at other practices.